On today's Motorcycle Therapy, we're riding the famous Canyon del Pato in Peru. Stick around. Just check in, see if you're listening, blah, blah, blah. Just check in, see if you're listening, nah, nah, nah. Please click like on this video, and if you like reading about motorcycle travel, check out my newest book, Motorcycle Messengers 2. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But enough about that. Let's get to it. All right, first of all, don't let this video confuse you. Elle and I are not in Peru at the moment. We are still stuck in Uruguay. All the borders around us are closed. We're just making this video about Peru now because, well, we have time. We have time. Anyway, Kenny Del Pato. This video basically picks up where the last one left off. That one was called Flat Tire in Peru, and if you haven't seen it, you can click over to that one after this one is done. Flat Tire in Peru, do you remember that day? I remember that day, that was a long day. Mm -hmm. Started with a dead battery and a push start. We started leaving the highway and went into the mountains and had a flat tire in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, we ended up sleeping uh, in the dirt behind a police station. And then the next day we woke up and we hit the road. And I wasn't really sure what to expect on this day. We didn't really know where we were, except that we were somewhere in Peru. That's right. And as we're driving along, it turns out we were about to embark on the Canyon del Pato. So what is the Canyon del Pato? It's basically a very narrow and twisty road, and it's got something like 54 tunnels or something like that. It was awesome. Um, it was a narrow road, so like Jeremy said, there wasn't enough room for two vehicles to pass each other. It was one vehicle at a time. There was a time when we were in a tunnel and four vehicles trying to go this way and two trying to come this way just had a face off. They needed to honk and honk and honk and honk and honk. And then the guy who came behind us, so the fifth vehicle in our lineup, got out and went up and started yelling at all of them. I don't know exactly what he said, but eventually we pushed them backwards and we got out. Apparently this road was only recently paved. I'm not sure when they put pavement down, but some friends of ours did this road just a few years ago, and uh, they said it was gravel. So I don't know what experience is better, uh, paved versus unpaved. Maybe gravel road would feel a little bit more adventurous? I think it was adventurous enough. So the best way that I would say to find the Canyon del Pato is between towns. Fino. Fino. Find it for yourself. <laughs> this isn't a how-to video. It's gonna be yeah, some clouds someday. That's alright, cause I'm on my way. And I'm headed so far away from here. It's gonna be yeah, some clouds someday. So what about you? How much planning do you do on your motorcycle trips? Do you prefer, like me, to just stumble across these things? Or are you a little bit more of a planner like Elf? Leave a comment below. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube, and then my life will be complete. Elle gives me a bunch of suggestions right at the very last minute, and then I get grumpy, and then I say, well, do you want to film it? And then she goes, no, I'll just sit here and do it. 